Hey guys, I'm Chef Kayla with Waller Ventures. Many of you know we are based out of Florida, but I am actually born and raised in Eastern North Carolina. And there are many things that I miss in North Carolina, such as Bojangles, Cookout, Dank Burrito, King's Restaurant, and good old Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue. Today, we are actually going to be making some good old fashioned North Carolina barbecue in the crock pot. So if you're hungry for some good old barbecue, stick around and check it out. So normally when you make barbecue, you use pork. Well, today we are using a venison roast. So we're gonna to have to adjust the recipe just a bit. So if you want the recipe, I will put a link in the description. So the recipe calls for five pounds of pork. Well, our venison is actually 2.6 pounds. I weighed it on the bathroom scale. And my crock pot is not big enough to hold five pounds of meat. So we are going to have to cut back on some of the ingredients, which means I have to do some cooking math. The first thing we did was marinate our venison. People have different ways of marinating their meat, but this is how we did it. First, you take one can of beer. It can be any type of beer. We use Miller Lite. Then we do a legit spoon of minced garlic. Then we do a couple of splashes of Worcestershire sauce. And then we let it marinate for at least 12 hours in the fridge. So we did one and a half cups of apple cider vinegar. Then I did a dash of salt and I also did some pepper. If you marinate the meat how we did, you just wanna put a dash of salt because Worcestershire sauce has salt in it. And if you put the recommended salt that's in the recipe, your meat will be really salty and you don't want that. Once all your ingredients are in a crock pot, then you wanna cook it on low for 12 hours. Hence the reason why I got up at 5 a.m. to start this. So our meat has six hours left to cook. So we will come right back after six hours. After 12 hours in the crock pot, your meat is ready. Make sure you get all the bones out and make sure you keep two cups of the juice. After you shred your venison, you wanna put it back into your crock pot and leave your crock pot on it warm. Then you wanna put your juices back in. Then I am going to do one tablespoon of brown sugar. Now I'm gonna do two, two drops of hot sauce. Then I'm going to do one tablespoon of red pepper flakes. Once you have everything in, you want to stir it up. Once you have everything stirred up, it would look like this. Now you're ready to make your barbecue sandwich. You got your meat and your coleslaw with a side of a pickle. Now it's time for a taste test. Perfect. It tastes exactly like North Carolina barbecue. Thanks for watching how to make some North Carolina barbecue in the crock pot. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Did you like this cooking video? Then check us out on our YouTube channel at Waller Adventures. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified on when we post videos. Also check us out on Facebook at Waller Adventures and on our Instagram page at Waller underscore Adventures. Thanks for viewing the video. Hope to see you soon.